Voldemort started to gather some followers. Brought him over to the dark side. So he decided to kill him. Me speak to him. Master, you are not strong enough. Dumbledore. It is not wise to be wandering around. I had to see for myself if the rumors were true. They are true. About the school as well? I don't have a home to go to. They wouldn't really close Hogwarts, would they, Professor? Sir, if it all stopped, if the person responsible was caught. No, sir. Nothing. Off you go. Good night, sir. I don't think you meant it to kill anyone, but the dead girl's parents will be here tomorrow. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed their daughter is slaughtered. Monsters don't make good pets, Hagrid. Now stand aside. No! Stand aside, Hagrid. No! See some Hagrid! They'll have your wand for this, Hagrid. You'll be expelled. Please wake up. She won't wake. She's still alive, but only just. A memory. Preserved in a diary for 50 years. Help me, Tom. There's a basilisk. It won't come until it's called. Poor Ginny grows weaker. I grow stronger. It was Ginny Weasley who opened the Chamber of Secrets. You'll find I can be very persuasive. And then, who should find it but you? The very person I was most anxious to meet. I knew I had to talk to you, meet you if I could. So I decided to show you my capture of that brainless oaf Hagrid. It was my word against Hagrid's. Only Dumbledore seemed to think he was innocent. I knew it wouldn't be safe to open the chamber again while I was still at school, so I decided to leave behind a diary. Haven't I told you? Killing mudbloods doesn't matter to me anymore. For many months now, my new target has been you. Voldemort is my past, present, and future. Surely. You didn't think I was going to keep my filthy muggle father's name. Dumbledore's been driven out of this castle by the mere memory of me. So this is what Dumbledore sends his great defender. Let's match the power of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin. Bird may have blinded the basilisk, but it can still hear you. Yes, Potter. The process is nearly complete. I will cease to be a memory. Very much alive. Be with your dear mudblood mother soon, Harry. What are you doing? Stop! No! <laughs> The old muggle caretaker is standing just outside the door. Step aside, Wormtail, so I can give our guest a proper greeting. Avada Kedavra! We see it again. Ah, oh, yes.
about your arm. The other arm, Wormtail. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. Thirteen years it's been. Crab! Crab! Nair! Lucius. <laughs> I have been obliged to present each day since your... <laughs> out of fear. Not loyalty. Such a handsome boy. <laughs> Harry! Oh, I'd almost forgotten you were here. The boy who lived. How lies have fed your legend, Harry. Shall I divulge <laughs> how I truly lost my powers? Sweet Lily Potter gave her life for her only son. She provided the ultimate protection. Old magic. Something I should have foreseen. Things have changed. I can touch you now. <laughs> Astonishing what a few drops of your blood will do. <laughs> pick it up, one, Potter. I said, pick it up. Get up, get up. You've been taught how to duel, I presume. First, we bow to each other. Dumbledore wouldn't want you to forget your manners, would he? I said, bow. <laughs> I'm going to kill you, Harry Potter. I'm going to destroy you. After tonight, no one will ever again question my power. If they speak of you, they'll speak only of how you begged for death. Merciful Lord. Obliged. I want to see the light leave your eyes! Explode! <laughs> You will fetch it for me. Do it! And you... ...shall be dead. things move without touching them. I can make bad things happen to people who are mean to me. I can make them hurt. Prove it. So, at Hogwarts. I can speak to snakes too. They find me. Whisper things. Sir, is it true that Professor Mary Thought is retiring? Intuition. You see, I couldn't think of anyone else to go to. The other professors, well, they're not like you. And I read something rather odd about a bit of rare magic. I thought perhaps you could illuminate me. Cool. 
I can understand it. It's called, as I understand it, a Horcrux. I crossed the term while reading, and I didn't fully understand it, which is why I came to you. I don't understand how that works. Murder. Can you only split the song once? For instance, it's not seven. Seven? Of course, sir. We have a little secret. Severus. I was beginning to worry you had lost your way. Come, we've saved you a seat. The aura has let slip that the Porter boy... What say you, Pius? Spoken like a true politician. You will, I think, prove most useful, Pius. Where will he be taken, the boy? To a safe house. My lord, I'd like to volunteer myself for this task. Wormtail! Have I not spoken to you about keeping our guest quiet? I must be the one to kill Harry Potter. They are, in some ways, twins. We can wound, but not fatally harm one another. Surely one of you would like the honour. My lord, do I detect Elm? It is Miss Burbage's belief that muggles are not so different from us. She would, given her way, have us mate with them. For her, the mixture of magical and muggle blood is not an abomination. We're friends. Dinner. Severus, bring him to me. But the one resist me. It answers to you. Does it? The one 
Does it truly answer to me? I am not its true master. You killed Dumbledore, Severus. You've been a good and faithful servant, Severus. But only I can live forever. When that happened. No sign of him, my lord. Don't need your help. <laughs> Harry Potter is dead. From this day forth, you put your faith in me. Potter is dead! <laughs> and now is the time to declare yourself. Well done. And who might you be, young man? <laughs> well, Neville, I'm sure we can find a place for you in our rank. Well, Neville, I'm sure we'd all be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Because you're wrong! <laughs> Harry's heart did beat for us! Come, <laughs> Franco! <laughs> Professor Snape, that one was failing you. Together. 